Hey everyone, Doc here. So um, I realized recently that I have been doing some projects with uh, wire wrapping in them, but I've never made a video on how to do wire wrapping. So what I'm going to do in this episode is I am going to go through uh, a step-by-step -step on how to do uh, wire wrapping. And we will do that as soon as we run through the introduction uh, credits here. Okay, to wire wrap, we're going to need a few items and you may elect to have some additional ones and we'll talk about those now. You will need 30 gauge wire. You will need to have a wire wrapping tool. You need to have wire cutters. You need to have perforated board, preferably a bare perforated board. And you'll need to have some wire wrapping sockets now those sockets actually have extra long legs from what you'd use let's say if you were uh, soldering the socket down to a board you may also elect to have uh, headers for those sockets and these are typically needed when you're going to be soldering down uh, components like capacitors and resistors onto or adding those into your circuits if you're using for instance uh, microchips you can just place them directly into these sockets all right so i got both of my uh, wire wrap sockets in the next thing i like to do is i like to secure them onto the uh, board there. So I'm going to take the wire wrapping tool and inside the wire wrapping tool there's a stripper, wire strippers. And so I'm going to take my 30 gauge wire here and I'm going to strip approximately, uh, since this isn't for a uh, electrical connection, we're just kind of keeping the parts down on the board. I'm just going to strip about half an inch or so off the edge there. Uh, once I've done that, if you look in here, it might be a little bit tough to see. Uh, there's two holes on the inside of this. I'm going to put this through the hole. There's one on the side so that I get the wire coming through the side here. That's how you're going to actually do this. You're going to push the wire in to the hole that allows that wire to come through the side right there. Once I've done that, what I'm going to do is just pick a corner here and I'm going to wire wrap that down. Again, this is just for the purpose of keeping it in place. I'm going to take my wire cutters and I'm going to just cut that wire down. So now you'll see that the part is in there, that wire wrap socket is in there. I'm going to do the same thing to the other socket. Take about another a half inch to about three quarters of an inch there. Push it, push the wire through the hole that allows the wire to come through the side here. Put it onto the socket and turn clockwise. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the wire. Okay. And so now I've successfully kept these down on the board. Okay. Now it makes it a little bit easier for me to work with. Now from here, what you want to do is you want to go through your schematic diagram and you want to see which wires are to be connected to, or pardon me, which uh, legs of the sockets are to be connected to other legs of the other socket. 
Now, the interesting thing about this is because we're looking at this from the underside here, okay, things are going to be a little bit, uh, well, not a little bit, they're going to be reversed from how they are on top. So on top here, if we look at this, my notch is here, so that means I'm going to put pin one is over here on the upper left. But when I flip it over down here, pin one is actually on my upper right. Okay, pin one would be over here. So up here, pin one is on the upper left. I flip it over, pin one now is on the upper right here. And so let's just uh, say I wanted to connect pin one over here to this last pin down here. What I would do is I would go ahead and strip. Now strip about an inch off the edge, okay? And now since we're doing this for an electrical connection, I'm gonna give a little bit more explanation here. You're gonna stick the wire in to the hole again at the bottom. And I don't know if you can see this at the bottom so that the wire actually comes through the side here and you want some of the insulation to be in here. I would say get the insulation up to the point uh, where you can see it in this slot right here. So you, if you look real closely, you'll see just a little bit of red in that area. And so what that will ensure is that when we do the wire wrapping, that lower portion will have some insulation and then the upper portion will have the metal and that helps to keep the uh, connection in case your circuit ends up getting jarred or shaken or whatever uh, as you're using it. So again, we're going here, we're gonna pick pin number one. So pin number one is here. I'm gonna go ahead. What I do is I put a thumb here to hold the wire down and I twist clockwise. And now that I've turned it clockwise, you're going to notice here now that that connection, you'll notice that the lower portion there has some red insulation on it. And then above there, it's just um, the wire. After I've done that, I go over here now. Remember I said I'm going to connect it to this lower pin right here. And so let's go ahead and do that. What I do is I go ahead and cut a little bit extra here, take the wire, grab it, take off about an inch. That seems to be more about uh, more like a three quarters of an inch. So I push that into the slot right there and I pull up. Once I've done that, I go ahead, take the wire wrapping tool, make sure that the wire goes in here. And again, remember you want to see some of the insulation on the inside. Some of the insulation on the inside, as you can see there, some of the insulation. You're going to put this over the wire wrapping tool. Now the other hole needs to go over the leg here of the uh, it's fighting me there we go of the um, leg here of the socket and we turn clockwise and then you'll notice here again that leg now has some insulation at the bottom and then the wire wrap up at the top Now, let's say you end up making a mistake and you need to do a correction. This is really easy. Or let's say you want to take these uh, posts off because um, we are not going to keep those on after we secured it. So let's say you've wired this up and you're happy with it. Uh, make sure that, of course, nothing else is above this. So you can go ahead and put the, make sure you put the tool onto the post and then you turn counterclockwise and the wire comes up. Okay, so that's how you're gonna take them off in case you made a mistake, or once you get to the point where you're gonna remove the uh, those initial wires that I put down to keep the sockets in place. Now, you did notice I said make sure nothing's above. 
So let's say this leg here needs to be connected to another uh, connection over here. All right. And I'm just going to do the one half so that you can see uh, what it looks like when it's connected above. You can actually connect a second piece of wire on top of that. So you do the same thing again. That's a little bit more than a, an inch, or at least it looks like a little bit more than an inch to me. Again, make sure you push the wire through so that uh, in the hole, in that second hole there, so that you, it comes through the side here. You see some insulation. And then you twist clockwise. And you'll notice now that it comes above that second wire there. All right, so that's in general how you would do uh, wire wrapping. Um, if you ever need to do so, again, you can use wire wrapping. It's a good way to do somewhat of a permanent type um, uh, circuit build uh, if you don't want to go to the expense of actually building a PC board and doing the etching and so forth. But this is a, definitely a good alternative uh, for this. All right.